and in themes in terms of risks, right? We're seeing this huge disruption across lots of different industries, Uber, Airbnb, et cetera. How can companies try to identify the shifts that are going to come, these tectonic shifts that are taking place, and what should they do about it? Well, I think everybody here should take a very simple stance like I did a long time ago, which is that the internet will eliminate the middle. Right? If you, if you actually understand what the internet does in its most basic form, it eliminates anybody in the middle that provides no value. That's the squeeze. So for me, I think everybody in this room needs to think about a couple things. If the internet squeezes the middle, that's how it plays out. Airbnb made so much sense to me, if you think about it. It's just inventory that exists that the internet connected two parties to. No different than Uber, no different than everything else. And so, listen, if you're an airline, you know, obviously somebody has to then own a plane and that becomes a, a cog that's more expensive than other things. But, you know, rooms have less costs involved as we've seen play out. And then you start getting into experiences and other variables, but you can't just rely on the utility part of that. You've got to layer it. Um, it's kind of how I think about what's happened with television. It's the reason I knew that commercials were going to be in trouble. It's not that, it's not that I'm predicting. It's every day that you see Netflix and YouTube consumption numbers go up, that's a problem for a network television. And then you just live in common sense. Like consuming a commercial during a television program is a very wild rarity in 2019 when we all have mobile devices. I always laugh when people in the US say, but sports commercials are good. Meanwhile, the data is very black and white. The biggest spike on social media is during the commercials of major sporting events because everybody wants to talk about what LeBron or Messi or Tom Brady did, right? And so, uh, you know, it just feels like one big game of inside baseball where there's a lot of financial incentives to hold up a facade that no longer exists. And unfortunately for the biggest brands in the world, the executives making the financial decisions are not incentivized to do the right thing. They're incentivized to follow the scoring that's been created internally. That's on the CEO's 